Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about disassembling bidet seats. There's one shell that's used for a number of different bidet seats. Our Cascade 3000 uses it, the Blooming R1063, the Galaxy uh, GB5000, and the Alpha JX use the same shell, so the disassembly is the same. Don't disassemble unless you're, you've been told that you can, it, your seat is already out of warranty, make sure to check with uh, the people you bought your seat from to make sure that you're not voiding any warranty or anything like that. But if you need to work on it in any way, this is how you're going to take it apart and I'll show you some of the parts that are inside of the Cascade 3000 today. You can do this without removing the lid. I find that removing the lid makes it a little bit easier. So you're going to flex the lid. You're going to take um, the side off of the pin, as you see here, that holds it for rotation. So you're just going to flex it, pull off the one side, and push off the other. You can really do either side, um, depending what you prefer. Now you'll have three screws you need to unscrew, one on the right, one on the left, and another on the back as you flip it over here. These screws will um, come up pretty easily with a Phillips head screwdriver. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these screws. The screw in the back is a small screw, and the screws on the front here are gonna be a little bit longer. Now as you flip the bidet upside down, you'll see tabs that hold the bottom in place and hold the shell together. Next to those tabs, you'll see slots for the screwdriver. You can put the screwdriver in there and give it a little pry to give the tabs room to unclip. You do that on both sides and then the front of the seat is gonna come undone. You'll notice that the back is still holding together decently well, so you're going to want to flip it over and wiggle it apart. The back has some um, friction material on it, so it's just going to take a little bit of pulling. And then at that point, you're just going to want to flip the um, top off of the seat so that they lay side by side, leaving your wires connected. Uh, you don't want to stretch them a lot, so just set the two pieces side by side. Uh, I did it here off to the right, which is the easiest way to keep the um, wires safe from being pulled too much. At that point, you can see all of the internals of the seat. Here you'll see the inside of the Cascade 3000 uh, from the top and from the side. The parts are labeled, so if you do need to do a repair, you can locate the part pretty easily. Let us know if you have any questions uh, on the inside of the Cascade, if you think you need to do a repair or you need help with, uh, with any repair, we would love to help by making a video to show you how that works. If you have any questions about bidets, which bidet to buy, depending on your circumstance, um, how any of the functions work, anything like that, feel free to reach out. We'd love to make a video to help you understand different parts of uh, how bidets work. Definitely feel free to reach out in the comments, shoot us an email, or give us a call. Thanks.